Here's a very important piece of advice I'm going to give you if you're about to go to mediation. It's probably the most important thing that I can tell you. You have to connect within and listen to your own heart when you're in that room because the temperature is going to get hot. It, it's usually a slow burn. Like when you start in the morning, 9 a.m., you may have some breakfast tacos, a cup of coffee. Everybody's kind of getting their feet wet. But as the day goes on, and especially once you pass lunch, and it gets to be about 2, 3 p.m., things start getting hot in the kitchen. And why that happens is, is people are like, look, the day's running out. We have to get real on whether or not we're going to make this agreement. And the nature of the process is you've got two attorneys and a mediator who all are the sort of people who want to win. And a win at mediation means a settlement because it means it's resolved for you, it's resolved for your family. It's, it's good, you want them focused on you winning, right? You want your attorney to want to win, okay? So everybody's focused on that one goal, goal of settling. And what happens is the pressure starts to mount and they start to push on you things that, you know, when you got there the day, like, well, I didn't really want to do a 50-50 schedule. It really mattered to me that she has to take them to their t-ball games. And before you know it, way leads on to way. And by the afternoon, you can feel this sense of losing your way. And if you let yourself, you may succumb to the temptation to settle and kind of take everyone's well-intentioned pressure. I know this because it happened to me in my own life. I was at a mediation in a custody modification and everybody was trying to tell me to settle. The mediator, my own lawyer, his lawyer was pressuring, it was like all of these men and me. And I said, look, because I could feel it. I knew it was happening. I was like, I got to get outside. I got to go get a Diet Coke. And we were in this little bitty town and I walked literally across the highway to the Dairy Queen and got a Diet Coke and called my then a boyfriend who's now my husband and just talked it through. And he's like, remember when you went in, these were the things that you were sure were non-negotiables. Are you sure you want to do this? And I'm like, no, I don't want to do it. The fresh air gave me so much perspective and just taking that moment to jump out of the process and reconnect. So go in knowing, my advice would be before you sign anything, because a deal's a deal, you're not getting out of this. Before you sign anything, you need to be real clear that it aligns with who you are, what you want, and what you think is best, you know, within all the factors for your family, for your kids, your business, your money. Uh, and if you can have a little tool for yourself, maybe a friend that always grounds you. Maybe you go outside to your car and do a breathing exercise. Maybe you walk around for five minutes, get some clarity, shake off the pressure so that when you come to that final agreement, you know that you've acted in your best interest given everything um, that's playing on you in the moment. But watch out for the pressure. It's good. Don't be mad at it and make sure to hold your own ground before you sign that paper.